Yeah, we are back live again right here at the MF13 Studios with my boy Flavor Flav in the building. What's what up, up Chris? man? Chilling, man. And we got Mr. Moo Moo, of course, Nathan Burton, my dear friend. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the white Flavor Flav. Yeah. Real white. I'm real white. You're real white. Look at this. I'm real You're white. white. You know what Flav said to me? Can I tell that story? We just took a picture, which you probably saw on Loyal Saturday. And by the way, for those who don't think we're live, we are completely live. Look at the clock. We were we're live, live, Loyal Saturday. We were live, and we're live right now. We were not live with, obviously, Jonathan Davis. That was pre-taped at the Believe uh, Black Room Theater. Um, so, but we are live. So, I, we got a lot of people saying it's not live. I know it looks so freaking good that you can't believe it's live, but this is what we do here at the MF13 Studios. We're bringing the craziest shows to you, all live, all free, and uh, we got Flavor Flav. And I want to- And the place to be, yeah, that's right. That's and you know what? And I'm the black Nathan Burton. Right. <laughs> that's what I'm I, hey, I, I ain't gonna lie, but I used to be white until I moved to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell this story. I got cooked. <laughs> I got I cooked, G. <laughs> so if y'all go outside and y'all see chocolate on the ground, that's because I was standing there sweating. Before, <laughs> after. Before, after. Yeah. So, check, so check it out. I'm, I'm backstage. He came to see my show. You've seen the show how many times, Flav? Oh, man. To, um, I like don't a know. Lot. Yeah, but he's yeah. been on stage, right? Yeah, he's been on stage. He's about 10 times probably, yeah, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, about 10 times. Big right fan now. of magic. But I just want to say, you know, every time that I see it, I don't care what nobody say. It's just like my first time seeing it, man. Because I love your magic and I love your show that much, bro. Wow. Yeah, thank you very much. And by the way, that's what she said. You dog going right. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I don't care what nobody say, man. No, hey, no, listen. thank you, man. You're I got my own matters of opinion, man, and my matters of opinion should be respected, man. Yes. I think right now you're the greatest magician living. Oh, well, thank you so much, man. That's good. I'll give you the 100 bucks. I have it over here somewhere. Thank you. Well, I and, got 100 in my uh, pocket. Yeah, you don't worry about it. Oh, Omar, you brought Omar. Yeah, I brought my boy Omar. He's such a good guy. Yeah. He's here, too. I'm going to bring him on camera in a minute just to say hello. Uh, but uh, I can tell you, Hood G. I can tell you, Hood, you know why? Why? Because you got a $500,000 car downstairs with a bunch of dust on the rims. Yeah, <laughs> Now that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> Check it out. So we're backstage. <laughs> hey, I got that's, some rims. You know, hey, I got so, some of your dust on my uh, fingers, so, man. Someone's you know, going to be in a lot of trouble Tommy, after this show. Tommy, 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 what the hell is going on my rolls, man? <laughs> so check it out. Um, uh, what's really funny is we were backstage, you took a picture of me, and you said to me, Chris, what do I have to do with the camera? <laughs> huh? because you, you saw the picture, and you're like, you got to put the flash on. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I don't be showing up, man. I ain't going to lie. But let me tell you something. If you take a picture with Flavor Flav without the flash, that's just like a vampire in the mirror, baby. You know what I'm saying? No reflection. No reflection at all. <laughs> so we have some questions uh, from you guys, and we're going to take some. Uh, but before we do that, I want to uh, show you a really funny clip that Omar, uh, and he plays for the... For the, um, for the Houston Rockets, yeah. number 50. My man Omar Sam here. Yeah, really nice guy. Yeah, he sent me a clip of... Uh, he loves magic so much, Flav, that he literally has the record of jumps from the stratosphere. And he, uh, every time he jumps, he imitates, well, my pose. Often duplicated. That's right, boy. Often, oh, imitated. often imitated, but, but I duplicated. can never be uh, <laughs> duplicated. No, no, this is pretty badass. Check it out. Oh, this dude's tripping. <laughs> <laughs> flavor, flavor. <laughs> yeah. What you got to say, bro? I know the land was fly. Man, it's got to be fly now. Come on, come on. Yeah, I love wow. the arms out. That's the, that's the tableau pose. Like yeah, talking, man. Because, see, I got that from when you was over Luxor, you know what I'm saying? When you just just, just, just standing up over the Luxor, man, and you was just... Slave, not only did you get that, but some dude in England that has like that does all my magic, he, like, rips off all my stuff, does the same thing. Walks on water, puts his arms out. So it's kind of interesting. Wow. But you know what? You do it better. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thanks. Well, and that harness kind of make the boys, whatever. Yeah, they got harness. Hey, but you, you know what? There was like all, 
Well, well, I wasn't looking there, dude. What, I, well, I what know, the but hell are you was, looking at? Aren't you engaged? I am engaged, but yeah. it came down with the harness on. It, I don't know. Yeah. Well, I ain't going to lie, but you know what? I can really, really do it better if you teach me. There you go. Yeah, G. <laughs> All right, let's take a question. Video question, please. Chris Mandel from Baldwin, New York. Yo, what's up, Flav? Get it in. The new track is off the chain, son. Can we expect a new album from Public Enemy anytime in the near future? <laughs> hey, is that a security camera that he's talking to? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, that was big. That was big. Well, let me check. What was my man name again? Well, anyway. I think it was Chris. Is it Chris? Chris. Chris. Hey, yo, Chris, check this out. I mean, that was a real good question, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm surprised that you heard Get It In right now because me and my partner, Chuck T, just recorded two more Public Enemy albums, and Get It In is one of the tracks that's featured on the album. So there you got it. Well, t tell us about the recordings. Like, what, what, how did this kind of the culmination of the process? Like, you know, now well, it's see, out um, to... You know, they got this thing, Chris, they call Celeban, right? And this is where... You know, a lot of people donate artists, you know, donate cash. money, donate cash to their favorite artists right. so their favorite artists can make an album. Right. So we raised the most in Celebam. We raised $75,000, wow. Public Enemy and Celebam. Awesome, yeah. And everything. So with just 75000 we had to come back with two albums. You awesome. know what I'm saying? So this track that he was talking about, Get It In, and I was produced by my boy, uh, Freddie Fox, they call him Bumpy Knuckles. Mm -hmm. The track is sick, man, for real. The track is sick, but hey, we gotta get it in. Like right now, you know what we doing? We getting it in. Tell, right tell, here on the Chris Angel Show. Tell us about show. when you got it in with Prince. Oh, man. <laughs> that we, that, sounds, that yo, sounds really dirty. Well, well, well let that. me say this, you know, because see, <laughs> so we white. was over in Australia, <laughs> Public Enemy, Public Enemy, we was over in Australia, in Sydney, yeah. and everything, so when Chris, so when, when Chris Angel had his show. See, you're going through me. I'm, I'm mind freaking you, dude. I'm yeah, getting inside yeah, your head. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, because that, that's how you did it with yeah. that 430 stuff. But anyway, anyway, so um, um, Prince, had a, Prince had a concert at the same time that we performed. Right. We did a festival. So when we came back, I heard that Prince was having a after party. So I went down to the after party and everything. Shook his hand and everything in the whole nine. Next thing you know, they start jamming. He points to me, goes like this. I walk up on the stage. This guy gives me the mic and walks away. So I'm like, okay. So they started playing, um, uh, play that funky music, right, boy. Dun, dun, dun. And I started doing 911 as a joke to it. <laughs> Killed it. Yeah, awesome. Killed it. But I was on the stage with Prince, right? It's amazing. So anyway, the next day in Melbourne, he had a concert. So I had Public Enemy go down to his show mm -hmm. and everything. And I mean, this place is packed. Green is packed, man. Sheila either? He calls me up on the stage again and gives me the mic, man. And really? Walks away. Yo, man, I ain't going to lie, man, but the, 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 the arena, man, was screaming, man. Adrenaline. Yeah, man, as if I scored, the, you know, a, a two-point basket or something, <laughs> man, for the championship, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Flay was out on But it was amazing being out on stage with him, man. Was Sheila E there? Huh? Was Sheila E? I didn't see Percussion Sheila. player, yeah? Nah, she wasn't there. She wasn't there. Sure. But uh, but he has a dynamite, you know, um, artist that's with him. Her name is Shelby. Oh, yeah? And oh, cool. she's dope, man. She is bad. And she's also a beekeeper, too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But yo, man, it was a great experience being on the stage with him, though, man. And, and so you also have a, uh, in Vegas, you have a... Uh, I got my fried chicken restaurant. Yeah, called. Let's roll to the clip for that, and then we're going to talk about this. This is wow. great. There's a funny story here. Check it out. Wow. Yeah. So where is that located? That's that's located on Desert Inn and Maryland Parkway, 333 um, South Maryland Parkway, Flavor Flav House of Flavor. We got the fried chicken and collard greens, baked macaroni and cheese and french fries, coleslaw, potato salad, and red velvet waffles. There you go. And Get now tell us, hand. there's a funny story about uh, you opened up one uh, next to... Uh, 
uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yes, right? I did. That was up KFC. in Clinton, Iowa. Tell us the story. That was this up in great. Clinton, this Iowa. Great. And that was FFC. Flav fried chicken, you know, and I had lines. I had lines. It's coming. like coming to America. Hey, hey let me tell you uh, something. McDonald's. I had lines. Hey, yo, check this out, Nathan. I had lines coming out the door, down the block, around the corner. People was coming from Des Moines, see the Rapids. People was coming in from Chicago, South Dakota. I mean, everybody was just driving down to the restaurant, and my restaurant was right next door to the Colonel. And you know what? I put a hurting on the colonel, there too, you G. Yeah. You know what I'm Why saying? Not? See, Why the colonel got to be careful, man, because he'll be the next one in the deep fryer, G. Right. <laughs> no, but I'm a that's big a, fan. Of, that's hey, a, such a classic. I'm a big fan of the colonel, man. Great. I've been eating Kentucky Fried Chicken all my life, man, since I was a little kid, man. But hey. What about Popeyes? Churches? Yo, yo, yo. I like Popeyes. I like <laughs> churches? churches and all of that. You but I'm going to tell one. you it something. It can't be but, yours, but yeah. you can pick one. It's not Flavor Flay's restaurant. Which, what's, you can only eat at one chicken place. What would it be? Come on, the Kentucky Fry, man. Yeah. Now, Kentucky extra crispy fry. or original? Both. Now, I remember a kid, I went to a, a neighborhood. It was not so nice, and they had a special <laughs> KFC. Wait, wait, wait. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you know, I went to a neighborhood that wasn't so nice. What does that mean? You know, Translate. The ghetto. And they had, I went in, I was a really white guy. I go in there. <laughs> wow. Like, no, I go into KFC, and they go, we have original, we have, and we have extra crispy. We have a special kind I've never even heard of. And it was like the soul version. And I was like, I tried it. It was really good. Wow. I didn't know KFC had, like, you know, the hookup on the Yeah, premise. yeah, yo, yo, KFC is the bomb, though, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie, but it ain't just the ghetto, you know what I'm saying, that ain't nice places. I mean, hey, I listen, mean, man. Just, you know, hey, some, we got some yeah. places in New York, man, where there's just oh. right. Well, I think there's a chicken eating contest here with Nathan Burton and Flav happening uh, today. Hey, that yeah. was real good. That was good. That, that was, was good. good. I see. I see. Uh, I see a little. I see a little. Uh, a little tension there. right there. But I guess smell what, some chicken. Yo, guess what? And I smell chicken too. But you know what? We get ready to turn all this attention right back on to you because the contest. No, is the here it is. You. But, but here it is, right, right over here. Check it out. That is Flav's place, House of Flavor. We deliver. Takeout restaurant. There's the phone number. Call up right now. If you're in Vegas and you want some great chicken, will, will they deliver to your hotel if a tourist is staying here? Huh? Will they deliver to a hotel if a sure, like, sure. They'll we'll deliver to the Luxor. Ten mile radius. Ten miles. Ooh. Ten miles in the radius. Miles. We deliver. That's yeah. Great. It's great. Word up. That's good. They can deliver to your compound though. That's right. Yeah. All the girls could be the eaten by the pool. Love. Hey, but guess what, Chris? You're stuck, man. <laughs> You're stuck, bro. Because guess what? All right, let's get guess serious. Guess what? <laughs> guess what? All of the tweets is about me and you with this contest, son. I came hungry ready for this. All right. So well, we're getting, me and Tommy's you. getting the chicken. I got a question. But I, I want okay, to I, I ask Flav something. because, And I don't want I, I to get into anything that you don't want to talk about. But there's been a lot of nonsense, a lot of shit out there. Uh, about you on so many different levels. You know, I remember watching you, man, when I was a kid on Arsenio Hall, you know, with Anthrax, when they did, you did your music video um, among the public enemy stuff. And now there's all this stuff out there, there's drama. I'm not gonna say specifically what it is, but do you wanna just say anything about that, just to clear anything up well, about I'll that? Well, I'll tell you, man, what do you wanna talk about? What do you wanna say? Well, I just what, what you want to know yeah, don't about. Don't sugarcoat it, Chris. What you want to know no, about, just, and then I'm going to kick it to you straight. Yeah. I'm going to give it to you yeah. straight. Hey, One question. like you said, I don't sugarcoat nothing. The only right. thing that I so, sugarcoat is some red velvet waffles. So, you know, you're my boy, and we've been, we've been, we've been. <laughs> that was good. That was funny. <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was good. Yeah, G, yeah, boy. And, okay, and, get it in, Chris. And no, we're, we're, boy, you know, we're, we're good friends. And, That's and, right. And, and we respect each other, and we're always. I ain't got nothing to hide, man. So all of this stuff that, you know, came out. That was that was online in the papers, you know, about you, about I guess you know some of the uh, the uh, mothers that you had that were trying to get money out of you. Yeah. What up with that? Well, see, let me say this. You know what I'm saying? I did have a child support issue up on the table. You know what I'm saying? A hundred eleven thousand dollar child support issue, and everything. You know what I'm saying? And see, you know, I do a lot of things for my kids sure. outside of. I child, see your kids. You bring your kids of, to my show. I yeah, see how you no treat doubt, them. Amazing. No doubt. And I do a lot for my kids outside of child support. You know, the tens of thousands of dollars of Western unions that I send them, you know, when I pay for their private schooling. Wow. I pay for all their books, their clothes, and, and that stuff doesn't get recorded with the oh. child support. You know what I'm saying? And so, being that you're a flavor flavor. And so that on flavor flavor. Yeah, that's what yes, the headlines the becomes. The plot has thickened. Yeah. So being that the plot has thickened, I had to go in and spin it. Yeah. So, you know, I went to court, man, and just took them some dough and everything and said, hey, look, listen, y'all take this for right now. I'll come back with some more later. Please let me go to work. 
Yeah. So I'm good cool to then. go. Good. So good to go. Awesome. Hey, hey, I am on the Chris Angel Show right now. Live on Handcuff it. free, baby. <laughs> Handcuff free, baby. <laughs> All right, we have a we have a, a video question. So we're gonna go to Nathan right now. We'll do a video question for you, Nathan. Yeah. Uh, for Flavor. Here we go. Flavor, here you go. Hey, Flavor, Flav. This is Cassidy from Iowa, and I wanted to know, what's your favorite band or singer, and why is he or she your favorite band or singer? And what inspires you, or who inspires you? Thanks for taking your time to watch this. Peace out. What's my favorite who singer? Singer, band. My favorite band, my favorite singer. Rapper. Wow. I, I know that you like Ludacris. I mean, well, you know, yeah, I love Ludacris, man. Right. He's one of my favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying, of all time. And, and LL Cool J has always been one. My partner Chuck D has always been For one, sure. you know what I'm saying. Eminem, definitely, by far, you know what I'm saying. 50 Cent, Love 50, and everything, you know what I'm saying. Um, far as bands, you know, I'm, I'm more old school. You know what I'm saying? You know, back mm -hmm. in the days like James Brown, you know, and the sure, famous sure. flames, yeah. Jimmy Cast and the Funk Bunch and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and also, you know, I love the I love the band Chicago because mm -hmm. their horns, yeah. man, their horns are so. Didn't great. you kind of and create? I sure did. I recreated one of their records mm -hmm. called "Does Anybody Know What Time It Is?" Right. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Speaking of time, yeah. the number yeah. one question on Twitter right now is they want to know the story behind the clock. Well, see, Your the reason for the clock, yes. they want to know. Uh, there's, there's like 20 questions about the clock. They want to know the story. Well, see, let me say this. Back in the days, we used to wear stopwatches, right, as a fad. What year are we talking? And everything. We're talking about like maybe uh, 80. Circa 80s. Okay. 85. We used to wear stopwatches right. back in the days. So one day, this lady came through our projects, and she was selling these clocks that she stole from a place called Fortune Off. <laughs> Fortune Off. Right. That's by uh, we talk, Old right Country Road. Old Country Road. Right, in Long Island. Right, right in Long Island, <laughs> like Garden City yep, area. I know exactly where it is. Stuff, the malls right. are Roosevelt Fields over there. Yeah, so she came through selling these shower clocks. So we were all playing the dozens right inside, our, inside of my hallway, inside of the project's hallway. So son of berserk. He takes the stopwatch off my neck, put the clock around my neck. Everybody starts laughing, going crazy. So they dared me to wear this on stage. Now, if you dare Flav to do something, I would do it. <laughs> so they dared know. me to do it. So when we went and opened up for the, um, when we went to Passaic, New Jersey, opened up for the Beastie Boys, 1986. Wow. I wore the clock. Next thing you know, we got the, the pictures back from the news day and the right. daily news. Sure. Hey, the hey, the flicks was looking dope with the clock, so I, I just kept the clock, man. The next thing you know, after a while, after after everybody started wearing clocks and the clocks became a fad, Chuck took his clock off. And they were telling me, yo, you need to take your clock off, man. Come on, that style is old now. I'm like, yo, the hell with you guys. I'm not taking off my clock. And do you know what? I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, 2012, because, you that's still got right. the clock. This clock has gotten me in a lot of trouble, but I ain't going to lie. It's gotten me out of a lot of I'm trouble, sure. too. You know what I'm yep. saying? It's in the whole signature, nine. man. It's your, it's your but, um, but the clock, it, it, it signifies time being the most important element that we have in our life. Huh? We can't afford to waste none of it. Exactly. And when we stop, time keeps going. You know what I'm saying? And, you know... It took time for us to be born. It's going to take time for us to die. Mm -hmm. And I always be saying, yo, I'm clocking you. I'm clocking you. That means I'm paying attention. So you can't get fast on me because I already know what time it is. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So when you go into my restaurant, I got a bunch of clocks up on the wall. This clock right here I got from Kelly Ripper right here. This is my Kelly Ripper clock right here. Thank you, Kelly. You know what I'm saying? But you walk inside my restaurant, all of my clocks are on 430. And the reason why, and even on my book, the, cl the clock is on 430 because of this guy right here, Chris Angel. I ain't going to lie. I never took gymnastics, but he flipped me out one day <laughs> with this trick that he did on an episode of Mind Freak. And it, it, it happened with a watch. And you said, Flav, I'm going to, uh, you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm going to be able to see what you're doing. So you set the watch, Chris, and mm -hmm. everything, and then you held it out. And you said, okay, Flav, now I want you to just turn the hands on your clock 
to whatever time you want. Don't let me see it. No, you could see it. No, no, yeah, no. I I'm couldn't saying, see I, what you clock. were doing. Yeah, I had it over here. I yeah. just held it up. Just yeah, like you, yeah, yeah, you had to watch over here. Right, right. And I was setting my clock yeah, yeah. to whatever time I right. wanted, right? Right. So when I got it up to around 8 o'clock, I said, I'm going to make this shit kind of interesting. <laughs> so I backed it up to 4.30. <laughs> you said, are you done, Flav? I said, yeah. You showed everybody to watch and to watch at 4 fucking 30. Yo, <laughs> Yo I'm still bugging. <laughs> <laughs> but how did you know I was going to put my watch on 4.30, man? That's how did I you do, do so? Man. So ever do. since you know, then, <laughs> I left all of my clocks on 4.30. There you go, man. All of them. And, and, all of and, them. and check it out. But that you, was weak. Make yeah. me enough. Deal you, week, you, are, you are probably... Well, you are probably one of the most original, uh, one one of the original hype mans, right? I mean, there were hype yes, mans before sir. you, but you're the one who really personified the hype yeah. man, right? Yeah, definitely. So man. who were some of the guys before well, you see, that weren't as known? That well, see, let me say, you know, a hype man, a hype man's job is to get the crowd hype. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? You know, you know, to have them participating, yeah. you know, throw your hands in the air. Yeah. Well, everybody say ho, and you know what I'm saying? So, you know, my job. You know hoes, right? Uh-huh. There's some hoes. Yo, 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 I know hoes. <laughs> hey, hoe money is better than no money. You know what I mean? But anyway. That sounds like a dollar home um, center. It's going to be all right there, it's G. Right. It's going to be okay. Hey, hey, we got hoes there, too. <laughs> he's he's educating, educating the white guys. <laughs> Hey, hey y'all educated me first. <laughs> <laughs> That's the good shit though, man. But anyway, you crazy, man. Hey yo, so anyway, but um yo, yo, it was good it was real good. You got me lost, man. Sorry, no, about sorry. You about, lost about, me, kid. Sorry about about being a hype man. Oh yeah, so anyway, so after me, then came Bushwick Bill from the Ghetto Boys. Remember right. the Ghetto Boys? Uh, they lived in the Ghetto? Scar. <laughs> yeah, they did. Down in Houston, Texas. Oh, it I, was Scarface, I, Wooly D, and little Bushwick Bill. Bushwick Bill is a little short guy, you Chris, know you what know I'm him? saying? Huh? I, do, I knew yeah. know of him. Really? Yes, well, anyway, so after, after me, he became a second hype okay, man. Like the hype then leaders of the new school came out. Mm -hmm. Then we got Buster Rhymes. Yeah. Then after leaders of the new school, then came Wu Tang Clan, mm -hmm. ODB, mm -hmm. and I found out that ODB was my cousin too. Wow. Really? Wow! Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, we share the same family. Yeah, wow. that was my cousin. And then after after Wu Tang, then came Flip Mode Squad, and Buster had Spliff Star. Wow. That's his hype, man. This, so there's so, there's so, much, so man. much to talk to you about, man. Like, what, we got a Twitter question because I want to talk got, to you about the flavor of on. love. I want to talk about all the, what happened to those girls a lot of that you used to have on your show. Let's When's this cont in. contest going to start? Home money is better than no money. <laughs> uh, I'm not getting a lot of questions. I'm just getting a lot of questions. So check it out. <laughs> what, t tell us about... I'm uh, sure Chris will win. You had this whole thing about you were dating... Uh, Bridget, right? Yeah. And you would, then you had other shows. You had New York on. You had right. all these, right? Well, well, let Talk me say this. Let me, uh, let me take you back to the beginning there, you know what I mean? Because it all started from Surreal Life 3. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I went to do Surreal Life 3 and... You know, the best thing that I had working in my favor, and this is real, real talk, Nathan, I didn't know nobody in the house that we had, that I had to share the, you know, the house with and everything. The only one that I kind of knew was Charo from the mm -hmm. Love Boat. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Coochie, coochie, coo. Coochie, right, coochie, 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 a girl named Ryan Starr who was on American Idol, but she got booted off. Uh -huh. and, that, and I found out why, because I could see <laughs> girl couldn't really sing all that great and everything, <laughs> you know. And plus, me and her, we didn't like each other. I, man, we hated each other. Really? Shots. Yeah. And then, of course, there was Bridget Nielsen. Yeah. When Bridget Nielsen walked in the house, I was like, yo, I know her from somewhere. I know her from somewhere. But I couldn't figure Rocky? out what it was and everything. And I never... I'm, you know, I didn't recognize, right. you know what I'm saying, the whole nine. So anyway, so Bridget, around this time, she, you know, walking around the house naked and everything, you know what I'm saying, the whole nine. 
And she and how, would, how is that she would experience? go to the bathroom. Oh, it was a great experience. I ain't gonna lie. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But check this <laughs> out though, Chris. So now she had this hygiene thing to where she would go to the bathroom, but yet she would wash her hands and shit, right? Really? So she came over number one or number two or number three? Uh, All of them. Uh, Three. All of them, G, all of them. But check this out. So she walked over to me one day and she went to put her hands on my face and I knocked her hands down and I'm like, don't touch my face. I don't want nobody touching my face. She said, you don't want no one touching your face? I said, no. She said, okay. Pow and smacked the shit out of me. (laughs) Hey, yo, hey, yo, Nathan. (laughs) I'm from the hood, <laughs> Freeport, Long Island. Strong Island. Strong Island. And where we're from, Chris, we're taught if anybody hits you, you hit them right back. So Unless immediately, if it's a girl, of course. Immediately, <laughs> spontaneously, I just reached up, pow, and smacked her back. Next Whoa. thing you know, the door is open. You know what I'm saying? We love. Fell, and we love. fell in love. Right there. Wow. And you know what? They, the they worst is mistake. hit each other and fell in love. That's right. We <laughs> hit each other. We <laughs> fell in love. And yo, I'm going to tell you the worst mistake that she made. Because here we are now, two and a half weeks into the filming of The Surreal Life 3. Yo, can I curse on the head? Say whatever you want. Hey, yo, brother ain't had no pussy, G, in like two and a half weeks. This lady jumps in my bed butt naked. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> yo, man, yo, this is one of the happiest days of my life. I'm like, lady, what are you doing? We got infrared cameras up here. I said, okay, don't worry about that. This is what you do. You watch the cameras. I take care of this back here. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy got it in. And then, Your boy got it in. <laughs> Yo, Les, I got it in. You heard? <laughs> Score! <I> scored! <laughs> and he scores! <laughs> Next thing you know. You fell in love for real, Yeah, man. we fell in love for real. Then after Surreal Life 3, you know, um, the producers said, well, hey, this would be funny. We got a tall Danish white woman and a short black <laughs> rapper. <laughs> Go to another country. Let's give him a show, yeah, man. Yeah. Let's I give him a that. show. So, yeah. so that's so, so that's how strange. So talk love about came talk about. about the craziest thing that has ever happened to you, shooting one of those shows. Like the craziest thing was it that with getting hit in the face, falling in love? Was that the craziest thing? Um, or other things that you might have seen somebody else do that no one ever really talked about publicly that we can get exclusively right here. One of the craziest things. Yeah was when that girl shitted on my floor and on the flavor of love. <laughs> Who's this? Yeah, there was a girl named something. <laughs> there was a girl named something. Her name was Shard. Her name was something? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was yeah. I, I nicknamed her something because she was something, but I ain't going to lie. But I mean, all day really? the girls has been partying, right, drinking and everything. It happens. You know what I'm saying? So at night, they had to eat something. So after she ate, I mean, hey, look, listen. <laughs> when women drink, you gotta eat, man. I don't care what nobody say. Y'all gotta eat, G. <laughs> Word up, G. So anyway, so now they're on the platform, right? On the elimination platform, waiting for me to come down. And I took about two and a half to three hours to with come your down. Crown, with your crown. Yeah, with the crown and all that. So the girl kept asking the producers, hey, I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> he's like, no, you can't they go. They was like, no, no, no. He's getting ready to come down now. He's getting ready to come down now. <laughs> Next thing you know, I ain't going to lie, G, but no I just way. seen her disappear in the crowd. Next thing you know. Like a squat? Next thing, you're yeah, like it was like, like a this. squat. It was like a squat. So listen, after the elimination oh, ceremony, smell. after the elimination ceremony, right? I see this girl run upstairs. So, wait, wait. I'm wait. smelling something stink. Wait, you didn't eliminate the girl that pooped? No, cause she. <laughs> listen, the reason why. No, the reason why is wait, because wait, you kept the girl that pooped. I swear to God. You kept her. I wow. kept her around what? just to show everybody. Hey, look, man. Hey, people do make mistakes and shit. You know. Shit, shit, yeah. They make mistakes. Hey, hey, hey check this out. <laughs> hey, check this out. She would have been all right if she would have wore some panties. Oh. But she had on a thong. Uh, now, oh tell, now, folks, come on, how much shit can a thong hold? Uh, this is getting more oh, appetizing gosh. by the moment. Did she come in second place? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know for a second she was out of place, that's for sure. 
Because I ain't going <laughs> to lie, man. I walked what? over to the stairs and I seen a lump of shit on the stairs. And I'm like, who snuck a dog in my crib? Next <laughs> thing you know, I'm like, hey, wait a minute. That's not dog shit. That's human shit. Oh. Hey, yo, the girl bent down, picked the shit up in her hand. No, come hey, yo, on. No, check this out. No. She tried to smear it on and, the floor with the back of her hand. Uh, ran upstairs with it and everything. No. Me and Delicious walked upstairs, Delicious. knocked on the bathroom door, <laughs> and the smell that came out that bathroom, oh my God, it smelled like a wild gorilla was running loose. In. <laughs> wow. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, man. I bet you all the magic that you know, and all the magic that you know could not blink that smell out. <laughs> that's the best I'm live wire story. That's the best That's story. the best that's, that's going to go that's down right in history for live wires. The best it's live wire that's Mark crazy Mark. story. 155. 155. That's the time that's that you the told time the story. On uh, June 23rd, yes. 2012, Flavor Play, best story. All and right. it's a true story, too, folks. I'm trying to tell you, and it's in the book. Oh, yeah, yeah I got a book out called Flavor Play, the Icon of Memoirs. I want you all to check out the book. That story yeah. is in there. Yeah. I got some good Tupac stories in there. And you got, you got a little something on me on there, yeah, too? Yeah, 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 got you up so in that, there, too. Ooh. But yeah, but Tupac is the reason why I'm sitting here talking to really? you right now, because he stopped me from accidentally committing the murder. I almost was going to kill someone. All right, we're, I was going to say, we got to we gotta go to the next thing. I didn't murder nobody. I'm right. here. I'm here. Yeah, so, hey. So, so you almost murdered I'm someone. not going to jail. My last name ain't Sandusky. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. yo, that's what he get for tapping them boys' booty, man. You shouldn't have did it, man. Word up, G. I'm dead serious, man. I couldn't wait for you to go to jail, homie. Word up, G. I'm telling the whole get world, Get a tight G. shot of this, please. Yo, I word up. I'm telling the whole world, G. Word up, man. Sandusky, <laughs> Whoa. you're in jail. You will not see the streets again there, buddy, for real. And I bet you any... Hey, yo, and that was a good thing them boys did, man. It came... And told a story and everything, yeah. you know, on this guy, man. Absolutely. Hey, yo, man, it had to go down. Doesn't see? matter who you are, man. You do That's something right. like that. Hey, listen, you check this to, out. Uh, you can't do bad stuff to people and expect good results. Right. It don't work, man. It's true. My son, my last born, his name is Karma. K A R M A. What goes, it comes. Mm, yeah. What goes in the wash, it comes out in your rinse. Yeah. Interesting. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, that's what happened to you, Mr. Sandusky. You know what I'm saying? Word up. Yo, was washing for a long time, and guess what got rinsed out? My dude. <laughs> My man. So now he's facing, what, about 400 years? Yeah. A lot. Wow. wow. So from Penn State to State Penn. Hey, if you, <laughs> hey, 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 Sandusky, I got a message for you, man. From Flavor Flav to Sandusky, if you ever in life drop the soap and you bend down to pick it up, you better have your back against the wall <laughs> when you pick it when you pick up the soap because they're gonna go inside you, buddy. Oh, they're gonna. Oh, okay. Does anybody intimidate you? Anybody? Myself. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> I'm the only one that intimidates me, man. Word up, G. No, nah, nobody intimidates me. I'm good, man. All right, everyone on Twitter said. No more talk. They want to see the, you guys battle. I know, out. I know, but we got to go. I got to go to one more video. Uh, I'm just, they're, they're getting worked up on One Twitter. more video question, battle. and then we're going right. to see the battle. Video question, please. Let's Parker, roll. roll it. Hey, Flavor Flav. This is Saffron underscore Marie from Twitter. Um, I was just going to ask, uh, where did you get the idea to wear a big old gaudy clock around your neck? I mean, I don't, you know, old ladies wear gaudy stuff, but I don't think even old ladies would wear that. Okay. I hope you will answer this question. Thank you. Let me explain something. She wasn't referring to you. She was f referring to some guy that wants to be you. Yeah, flavor, flavor. Oh. I'm the Mexican flavor, flavor. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey, yo, man. Yeah. Hey, I ain't going to lie, but you know what? You got the job. Because I'm the flavor, flavor, chicken fajitas. Yo. Uh, <laughs> you know, you, you got the job, man. Yeah. All right. What a great transition. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> hey, yo, man. I just got one thing to say to you, man. So they can see your nice costume. Yeah. Gee, I wonder who that is. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, there's only one thing that I got to say to you, homie. Yo, foo, 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 foo. Yeah. Yeah. Foo, foo, foo. Foo, 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 foo. Yeah, it's a flavor flavor from Mexico. That's right. Hey, yo, and not only that, but can I tell y'all something? He's, he's wearing the right thing. You know why? From Mexico, I made three-pound burritos. 
Doctor. Anything you want to add? I, you can't. You seem like you're having trouble speaking. Was this a good idea? <laughs> yeah, no, you know, my what? teeth. Yeah, this is your teeth. Yeah. And and how much? Can we get a tight shot of his what? teeth, please? What is that? Apparently, Stu Stone beat the hell out of his uh, mouth there. It's Fourteen thousand dollar gold ready? grill right there. Are you ready? There. Uh, are you ready? <laughs> All right, my <laughs> show. I don't think this is working too well. I don't think it's working. I don't think it's really working. You may want to take the clock off. Leave it to a professional. Maybe you should stick with the sound effects. Yeah, stick with the sound effects or I, I, try I, I, shitting in the corner. Under roofery. Huh? Under. You're the referee? You're, oh, you're going to be the, what are the you? The referee? I can't understand what you're saying. The you talk English. <laughs> where just, the referee. I know you talk Spanish for our what? Mexican friends in Latin America, but referee. English right now, what are you saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The back, you, do you know the, the camera? Yeah, really, yeah. play to the camera. Play the camera, okay? You perform every night on stage. Yeah, this is not the stage. Audience is that the, that's the audience. Oh, that's yeah, over Bell there. <laughs> the clock's going I like that, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, uh, do, are you I, done? Be there. Uh, no, we done. Yeah, but you, I, I, yeah. I'm the. Uh, you done? Yeah. I thought Nathan was the referee. You're the referee. Uh, yeah. Do you want to fight Nathan to do that? I don't know. He can do it. No, no. You, you, you done though, right? Oh, okay. You're okay. good. See? No, but it was kind of entertaining for, for like a couple ten, of moments. Ten yeah. seconds. Yeah. No, but it was good. Really, it was it's good. Like poop story. And yeah. The tale. Yeah. No, but, <laughs> but if you could shit on the floor right now, that, that might be, trump oh, the. Uh, yeah. That might trump it. Yo, that's All a right. big food of the God flower you wearing though, man. Who grew that flower, man, and put some hands on there? But this is a real time. Yours is, is, is bullshit. <laughs> no, Kelly! Did you hear what he said about our clock, G? Word up, G. Two hey. o'clock. Hey, yo, this is a Kelly Rip clock, son. You can't talk like that about my clock, uh, man. Kelly oh, Kelly yeah. Rip. My clock might get bigger than yours, and then my clock might clock your clock, man. All right, you know what time it is? <laughs> it's time to do. <laughs> it's time to do the chicken eating contest. That's right. yeah. Now, yeah. Uh, I, I think we're gonna throw to Stu Stone right now, who is the official referee. Stu, please give us the uh, highlights. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live, live, live from the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, folks, we have the chicken eating competition to end all chicken eating competitions. We have Flavor Flav, ladies and gentlemen. Flavor Flav from Strong Island. Yeah, G! Taking on Mr. Chris Angel. No, 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 this is the problem, okay? I gotta be honest with you, okay? I, I, I can't do the contest because of this, and this is the truth. I am, um, I'm yeah. s specifically, because uh, I'm going to announce some big news about the TV show coming out. Okay. I'm on a very specific diet, and I'm not allowed to eat anything beyond what I can eat every two and a half hours. So, you break in, my heart, in my place, you really break in my wait, place, wait, I love hold you, up. Dad. I love you too, man, but hey, guess what? Well, you know why I don't want to eat the damn what, chicken? Man. It's not your chicken. They got, what did you get? It's not Flav's chicken. You, you weren't able to get the chicken in time, right? We got, we got, they're not... We got like not the as church. good a Flav's chicken, but <laughs> but anyway, put, put those over there. Chris. Church's chicken, we whatever got it is. People on Twitter watching, okay, man. Okay, I'm gonna participate watching you, and I will referee. Take off your shirt. Give me the shirt. Ooh, me? Here, yes. yes. You're That's what yes. I'm talking yes. about. Yes. 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 Come on. There we go. Yeah, we can see. I I, I talked him into it. Yes, no, no, sir. No, no, no. I'm gonna, whoops. That's okay. Grab his okay, mic. Okay, we're all right. I'll put the referee shirt on. And, uh, and then you're gonna like, eat a couple of some chicken, uh, right? I, I, I'm gonna have one piece of chicken. I'm gonna have one piece of chicken on, to, show, to show that I am uh, breaking my diet. Dave Palumbo, if you're watching right now, don't be pissed at me. That's my. Uh, okay, so I'll tell you what, then. Dude, I can't even finish now, 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 check this out. Now, 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 I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it real, okay? You gonna eat one piece of chicken? I'm gonna right? eat one piece. Oh my god, am I really. Do I have to real. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 All right, everybody. The right way. Check this out. This is a chicken eating contest between Flavor Flav and Chris Angel, or well, between Chris Angel and Flavor Flav. Now, check this out. Now, if Chris Angel eats one piece of chicken, then I'm going to eat two pieces and I right. beat him. Now, we're going we're to do this. This is what I want to do. Come here. Just, I, I will have, I promise you, but first off, trust me on wait, this. Wait, 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 you're going to eat a piece of chicken? I'm going to have a piece of chicken. Okay. I'm going to have a piece of chicken. I promise you I will have one piece of chicken, but I want to see you challenge Stu because he wait, hold up, hold has hold been hold up, hold up, hold the hold chicken up. eating oh, but, but wait, hold champion up. now for how many years All of that's cool. All of that's cool, but still and all, I got to keep it real with our Twitter. All right, here though. we go. Ready? So, so. One piece. Here we go. Wait, wait, let's do one piece. Who can eat the one piece the fastest? Ready? I'm just going to make up. it disappear. Huh? Here we go. I'm going to make it disappear. I know. I know you is. Right, <laughs> no, 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 let me come over here. 
All right, you come over here. Okay, get a tight shot. All right. Who can eat the now chicken check faster? this out. All right, we got the chicken. Now this is what you're gonna do. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it like oh, on the um, uh, over here. Let's see. All ready? Go. Done. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> oh, that was real good. But now grab a piece of chicken. <laughs> no, I had a piece of chicken. <laughs> but For grab real. a piece of chicken. Come For on, real. man. <laughs> Come on, you gotta eat one with me on the camera, man. Come on, we can't we we, we can't fool these right. Twitter people <coughs> like this, man. Excuse me. Wow, that was great. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. Done. Chris wins. <laughs> okay, right. moving, moving right along. <laughs> I'm eating mine. Yeah, it's good, right? But not as good as your chicken, though, Flav. I got to be honest with you, because I've eaten at your chicken place, no. and it is the best. Well, hold on. Chris Angel just ate one piece, right? So guess what? <laughs> All right, you gotta go. Wait, Wait. hold on, hold on. Let's do. Let's Wait. do. No, don't do it no, yet. No, hold up. I gotta beat you. I gotta beat you. Fuck oh. that. I'm beating you on camera. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, All he right. ain't one. <laughs> I ain't two. <laughs> there you go. All right. So, yeah. Due to circumstances, I was unable to participate, but I, I did participate, him. and he did beat me fair and square. That's but right. can he beat? The champion. How many years in a row, Nathan, did he win the championship of the chicken eating contest? Thirty-six years, I've been told. Thirty-six years, and how old are you, Stu? He's thirty-four. Thirty-four. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to hand it over. This is going to be interesting. I think you know the rules. Explain the rules. I'm going to sit Wait. here and enjoy hey, yo, Chris, this what? amazing. Why do we have Panda Express? But Chris, Dips. guess what? <laughs> I want to see this. I ain't going to win this. Oh, can you try? I ain't gonna win this, man. I know I ain't gonna win this, man, because see, you you y'all put me up against a chicken eating champion. You know <laughs> what I'm not, saying? He's, uh, Flav, he's not really a champion. Trust me. Hey, <laughs> what? spoiler. Hey, let me tell you something, Pete. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, but when I was in jail, when I was locked up, I wasn't the only chicken eating champion. I was a ch choking chicken champion. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. That was good, huh? All right. I am. I, I guess I'm the official referee, so hey, I'm going to take this over. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> prepare yourselves for an good amazing luck, contest. Good luck, man. Two mere mortals competing to be the number one chicken eating champion in hey, yo, the Tommy. world. Hey, yo, Tommy. What's up? I'm supposed to be in Belgium right now, man. <laughs> wow, this is, this is what I stayed back for. Wait, you put his bib on, please. Yeah, we don't want to mess up the clock. clock. Yeah. All right. All right, here we go. You got here a bunch go. of chicken. You have three <laughs> minutes. Who's keeping the time? Yeah, so every time he finishes got, one, you, can, you right hit here. I got the well. stopwatch. Every time I eat one, you hit Yeah, this. when you hit one, we, we, we hit one, you got to hit that, Nathan. Watch, Nathan. You got to hit that, OK? As soon as okay. he gets one, OK? And you got to finish the whole piece of chicken. And, and Nathan, give us a countdown, please. Here we go. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, one, go. We really should have some music. Wait, uh, no, yeah, we, we could put some music on. It'd be great. But it looks like, it looks like, wow, Stu. We're, Stu. we're at 12 seconds. 12 seconds. Come on, Stu. Come on, Flavor. You can do this, man. You own a restaurant doing this. I hope somebody doesn't poop Come on, themselves. you beat me. You got to beat him now. Come on. You're my dog. Guess what? No, play, play, play. Little corn with 30 the, seconds. With 30 seconds. With your chicken. Nice. <laughs> A little corn with your chicken. It's four to three right now. Oh my God! How many? Minutes, how long do you have? They have. Uh, they're 42 seconds. They're tied right now. Four to four. Oh, this, this song is, is so awesome. This is. This challenge is gonna have a bad ending. I feel it already. Five to four. Five to five. We're at one minute. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We're tied. Five How to five. Come? <laughs> you gotta uh -oh. swallow it, dude. You uh, can't keep it in your mouth. Two. Oh, you're getting your ass whooped right now. We're six to six. Couldn't we, got, we couldn't get a better bell than that, really? Is that like, who got the bells? Uh, we were at a, one minute and 30 seconds. We're halfway there. One minute there. 30 seconds. Halfway we there. are halfway there. And it looks like. Three, six, seven, seven. I did, tied up. Man, 
Come on, eat. Right. Eat. No Don't wonder puke. why I was losing, because I was eating a bigger piece. You eat a small <laughs> one. Oh, both up. What? A minute fifty. Where has my career gone? <laughs> That's what I there we go. Dave Barron. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes, last minute. Here we go. All right. Oh, two minutes? No, one minute left. We yeah, have two, one minute one left. One minute left. We're at 55 wow. seconds. Wow. Well, this is a close rate. This is guy coming down to the bone here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I think we have a yeah. we have a we have a well, Oh, Stu's oh, gonna on, throw up. Don't Stu's throw gonna up. throw up. <laughs> he's gonna throw up. Oh, come on. He's what do we got well. here? We got oh, oh, he's gonna throw up. Oh, wait, this dude pulling out the head here? No, wait. Play just got another bone in his bucket. I got juices. You got juices. Gatorades. Uh, actually, I don't know. What. Thirty seconds. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Come on. Seconds. This is like when you sprint to the finish line. Yes. Stu's gonna you throw up. You gotta do this. <laughs> Twenty on, seconds. Man. Twenty seconds. You can't eat the chicken, man. Eighteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. Come on. Uh oh. Ten seconds. <laughs> Nine, eight, eight, seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, three, two, one. Wait, wait, stop wait, eating chicken. Stop, stop eating chicken. chicken. Stop. Wait, 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 wait. We've got to do official count here. All right, Stu. You're getting sick, aren't you? <laughs> Sorry, hold on. <laughs> Stu Stone officially has one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces. Twelve pieces of chicken. One. Is that one or two? Right there. I'm I don't gonna, know. Technically, we had to go in the judges hold on, and hold on. That's, that's two. Is that two? That's, gonna, that's, two, that's one. That's one. Okay, one, that's two, tiebreaker. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen for the winner! Ladies and gentlemen! And the champion! The Flame winner! Flame! 2012 Chicken Eating Contest winner! And Flav. Right here on the Quiz yeah. Andrew Show. Yes, and you won. Congratulations. Two tickets for Believe. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Tonight at the Luxor. Hey, yo, you know what I'm going to do with my this tickets, man? Because my, my manager wants to come on July 3rd. Yes. So I'm going to get my tickets to him. You're welcome to so come anytime. Come. You have a lifelong Thank ticket. You, man. You're always as strong. Hey. You're such a good sport. Hey, and listen, I got to tell you something. You are invited to my 4th of July party this I year. I hear it. It's going to be a blast. Yo, my, yo, check this out. Yo, my, my shows at the crib be way better than the strip, G. There you That's go. why I get my fireworks from Blackjack, G. I got to see my commercials, too. I, oh, I want to check them out. I want to check them out, but you, are you okay, seriously? I think Stu, Stu does not look well. I'm stepping over here because uh, wait, Stu wait. does not oh, he's, oh, feel oh, very oh, good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, here please. goes. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, here we, Come on, get that. Watch out, watch Come out. On. We don't need... You all right? You beat me fair and square. You all right? I'm honored. Oh, look at that. It ain't my fault, man. It's a love fest here at the MF13 Studios. Thank you so very much for... Dude, you do not look good. Yeah, yeah, Seriously, yeah. drink some water or something. Drink this yellow stuff. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. You sure? I won, G. Okay. I won, G. Yeah, yeah, up. So, we appreciate you tuning in. Coming up next is, well, next. And it's going to tell you everything that's going on. So don't move. You're going to have some celebrity guests, some magicians. Are you real? Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! No! Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my I'm good. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, oh, see you soon. He just Stay blew. well, Maestro! He just blew. Uh-oh. Be back July 14th live uh -oh. for our Magic Place Warehouse secret party. <coughs> and we'll see our three girls there and all of you. Don't move a muscle. Next is coming up. Next? <laughs> Be a ham.